All righty. You have a Samsung TV that has sound, but no picture. Uh, when this happened to me, my first assumption was that there must be something wrong with the hardware of the TV. The reality is that the fix is much simpler than that. So the first thing you should do uh, when you have sound, but no picture is power cycle your TV. Power cycle just means turn it off, then turn it back on again. We're going to do that with a little bit of a twist. Most people will skip this step, and I, I implore you not to, because this will fix the majority of your issues, including this one. So start by unplugging your TV from the wall. Once your TV is unplugged, look for the power button on your TV. Samsung TVs have the power button directly underneath the center of the TV. Sometimes it's on the front left or right bezel. It's a touch power button. You have to really look for it. Or it could be on the back of the TV. But find the, the power button on the TV and press and hold it in for about 15 seconds. Make sure that you're using the power button on the TV and not your remote. And I'll tell you why. Your TV has something called capacitors, and capacitors help store excess power. And even when your TV's unplugged, these capacitors have power in them. And by holding and pressing the power button, you're draining those capacitors of that excess power. This allows your TV to do what's called a soft reset. It's a full reset of the TV, um, and you drain that excess electricity out. So after you've pressed and held the button, power button for 15 seconds, you can release it, wait another 30 seconds, and then plug your TV back in. The majority of you, this will fix your problem. Your image will come back to the screen and you'll have sound. Now, for those of you that, that, that this did not work, you're going to want to carry on uh, to a couple other steps. So first thing I would try after power cycling, check all of your connections. Anything that's connected to the back of your TV, I would start by disconnecting all of it and then one by one reconnecting it, making sure that the connection is snug and secure into the back of your TV. Another thing you should look into is uh, if you're trying to use an external device, whether it's a Roku, a Fire Stick, Chromecast, maybe you have a game console like Xbox or PlayStation, or maybe it's just a cable box. If you're trying to use that device and you're having issues with it, I would disconnect it and then try connecting it to a different port. So if it's an HDMI cable, I would try, uh, try a different HDMI port and see if that's the problem. This isn't the most common issue, but HDMI ports do fail over time. And so you just want to quickly rule that out. It's a simple thing to do to make sure that that's not your issue. Uh, next, look at all of the cables themselves. Make sure that you have no damage to the cables or cords that you're trying to use. Uh, in some cases, you might want to actually try using a replacement cord to see if that fixes it. So if you have a cable box that you're using an HDMI cord, try just, if you have another HDMI cord lying around, just try that cord. Again, we're just trying to rule things out to make sure that that's not the issue. And then the last thing you, I want to make sure that you do is ensure that your Samsung TV is on the correct uh, input or source channel. So if you're Cable, bo uh, cable box is plugged into HDMI 1 port in the back of your TV, but your TV is on HDMI 2, you're going to have issues. So just hit the input or source button on your remote, toggle through, and make sure you're on the correct input or source channel. Okay, if that didn't work, it's possible that the issue is actually not with your Samsung TV, and instead it is the externally connected device that is causing problems. So to test this, it's pretty simple. Disconnect that external device and maybe try using another device. If you don't have another device to try, maybe just try using the TV as is. So if you have a smart TV, try just you know put it, pulling up a show on Netflix or uh, a TV show. Just see if that fixes it. If you get your picture back, uh, then it's probably your externally connected device that was the issue, and you'll want to look into that. There may be some fault with that device itself. Again, we're just doing... Uh, trial by elimination here just to see what potentially is causing this problem. So unfortunately, if you've made it this far and you still have sound but no picture, it's probably a hardware issue. Hardware issues come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to diagnose it. You don't have to be technical. I have a handful of tips and tricks that you can do to try to pinpoint exactly what's wrong uh, from a hardware perspective. The first thing you want to do is just shut off all the lights. Uh, in your room and then power on your TV. So I know you're not getting an image, but you're getting sound. Make sure that the TV is technically on and then look at the back of your television and see if you see any light popping through the back vent. Now, some TVs won't have this vent and you'll actually have to remove that back panel. You'll remove the screws all around the backside. It's actually not that hard to do. So uh, it may be worth trying this. But when you turn the lights off and the TV is technically on, you should see lights come through here. 
if you do see light, that means that the backlight of your TV is still working. And so therefore, you either have a bad TCOM board or a main board. I'm not going to get into the details of what each of these do. There's really three main circuit boards with TVs. There's the main board, the TCOM board, and the power supply board. Um, when things are wrong in terms of hardware, it's usually one of these three, although it could be LED strips, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, so if you see the backlight working and you don't see an image on your screen, TCOM board or main board are likely to blame. Now, normally you'd have to guess and just replace one and see if that fixed it. And then if it didn't replace the other, but in this case, since you have audio, it's most likely that it's your TCOM board. So I would replace the TCOM board first. Next, if you did not see any lights in that previous step, therefore that means your backlight's not working. So in that case, I'm gonna, again, shut off all your lights in your room, make sure your TV is on, try to bring up the TV menu, either on your remote or on the uh, TV itself, and then take a flashlight and shine it onto the screen and look for that menu. You might have to you know, keep it about a couple inches from the screen, move it all around, and see if you can make out a faint image on the screen. If you end up seeing the image, your TCOM board and main board are probably fine, and instead it's your inverter or LED driver that are broken. Now, the inverter or LED driver, many Samsungs have this actually built into the power supply board. So in that case, you just replace the power supply board. And if I go back up to the anatomy of the TV, in this uh, example, actually, that inverter or LED driver is built into this uh, power supply board. So you'd replace this. And you can see the LED strip power cable. This cable here is actually what's powering the LED strips on the front of the TV. So if that's the case, you'd replace the power supply board. If the power supply board, LED uh, inverter, et cetera, are not broken, then you probably have bad LED backlight strips. Now, these strips are a pain in the butt. You have to take off the front of the TV as well. You have to get underneath a couple uh, layers of panels without breaking anything. Uh, you know, all of these admittedly require you to take your TV apart. Most of you probably won't do that, and I completely understand that. Um, in that case, I would contact uh, Samsung support. Honestly, if you've made it this far and you can't figure it out, I'd contact, it's worth contacting them anyway. Usually a technician can diagnose the problem. Um, there may be an upfront cost for them to come to you uh, to, to actually tell you what's wrong with it. And unfortunately, in a lot of cases these days, TVs are so cheap that it's cheaper to buy a new one than it is to try to replace it. But I would just contact them before you completely throw in the towel and get a new TV. Uh, there's also the possibility that you have a warranty in place. So you can check that online. Most of these typically last only about a year. I'd look into yours specifically, though, because maybe you have some warranty that covers uh, repairs, uh, et cetera, on the TV. Give that a try. Look into it. And then if all else fails, you're probably stuck, unfortunately, getting a new TV. Um, but hopefully one of these uh, you found helpful and you were able to get the picture back uh, on your Samsung TV. Uh, if you were, please let me know. Uh, give me a subscribe to the channel. That helps us grow. Uh, thanks very much and talk to you soon.